Michael, one of the common myths around epidural also is that it increases the risk of having C-section and it lengthens the labor um, and can lead into a C-section eventually. What would you say about that? So let me talk about the lengthening of labor mm -hmm. first. The reality is it might lengthen labor very fractionally. Yeah. However, we're talking about a couple of minutes over the course of a many, many mm -hmm. uh, hours of labor. So it's really quite insignificant in the grand scheme of things. And the reason it does that is because the whole situation is more calm, more controlled yeah. and less chaotic. Yeah. And it just allows the woman to dilate and get to the stage where she's able to push the baby on out uh, with uh, over a longer period of time. Michael, I do want to talk a little bit more about the C-section risk in mm. epidural because women ask us all the time about increasing C-section risk uh, with epidural. What is your comment on that? Once again, all our data says that having an epidural does not increase the risk of C-section. Um, and in fact, there are certain circumstances uh, where an epidural actually make it less likely to need a cesarean. Mm -hmm. And specifically, I'm talking about V-back births here. So a V-back birth is a vaginal birth after having a cesarean previously. And the evidence shows that uh, for women who are attempting to have a vaginal birth in this circumstance, an epidural actually increases their likelihood of being successful doing that. Uh, also, in other very high risk pregnancies, which I know you do a lot of in your practice, yeah. Um, many times we will recommend that a woman has an epidural to make the whole process much calmer and more controlled. Yes. So I'm talking about you know, women who have severe heart or lung problems or other major medical problems. Mm -hmm. I often recommend a woman has an epidural specifically to make things calmer and more relaxed. That's great.